Okay, I want to take a sample of that. <laughs> well, we've just completed an amazing first science dive on the new Falkor 2 Schmidt Ocean Institute vessel. Discovery of a new active vent on Puy de Fol volcano. This whole strategy, exploration strategy, relies on sort of a nested approach. In a, in a very short period of time, we did a large-scale exploration, which we narrowed down to finding something very interesting and fun on the seafloor. Puy de Fol was somewhere that signatures had been picked up before by other researchers, but the activity was never found. So we thought to test the workflow, to test what we were doing here, and um, we found something beyond what we could ever expect. What we wanted to do was ascertain if high temperature hydrothermal venting is occurring on this volcano, and if it is, to go find it. The first step is to map with the ship so that we have a base map. That also tells you where the ridge crest might be or, or seamounts or fault zones. Things that create pathways for the hot water to travel from deep within the crust to the seafloor. That allowed us to lay, it, lay out two AUV survey missions that would cover the parts of the volcano summit that were of interest. We had to put the AUVs in the water to get the one meter resolution data. And then these mounds that are pretty broad, but not all that tall, those showed up in the AUV data. The first step of mapping the C4 with the ship gave us an idea of how we wanted to lay out our CTD. As we did our CTD tow, there was an area that was clearly had more intense signals than other areas. Because we found signals that were able to take samples in the water column above the seafloor and pick a likely spot that we wanted to put the ROV down on. There was a lot leading up to this dive, and we'd only found these low temperature diffuse vents, which was exciting in itself because no, no hydrothermal activity had been recorded at this site before, but we, we knew that it wasn't the source of the plume that we detected in the water column, so we knew that there was something bigger. I think the spirits in the room were a little low <laughs> by this point, and we had seen an anemone, and then there were a few more, and then there were a few more. So we were expecting a black smoker, but we were not expecting the huge edifice that we found. To be able to do that in just a couple of days worth of time really does show that the strategy works. We succeeded in finding the smokers that we were looking for.